Do you lug around a water bottle with you like an oversized baby doll everywhere you go? I do. Because everyone's like, hey, you got to drink your water. How close are you to finishing your eight cups of water for the day? I never hit eight cups. But you know what? If you, like me, are behind, maybe you don't have to worry. That is because there's a new study out today that found that drinking eight cups of water a day maybe isn't necessary. 64 ounces of water, eight cups, has been considered the gold standard since 1945 when this recommendation was made. But it turns out researchers say, look at the science. How much water you need differs based on all these things you see on the screen. How old you are, what sex you are, how big or small you are, your activity level, climate even that you live in. Let's bring in Dr. Akshay Sile. Um, it's like an Instagram influencer thing, right? To have these huge water bottles that's like marked off, like 10 a.m., noon, 2 p.m., you know what I mean? To make sure that people are drinking enough water. It's obviously important to stay hydrated. It sounds like we should be less focused on the number of ounces and more tuning into our bodies and what we need. Yeah, good evening, Hallie. That's, that's exactly it. You know, there's no magic number here that you have to hit 64 ounces of water. And, you know, now that I'm, I'm thinking about it, like you said, we, we know so many people, myself included, who are walking around with these, you know, these big water bottles just carrying them throughout the day. You know, the gym bros in my hometown of Scottsdale who would walk around with gallons <laughs> of water just going through them. And, you know, this study looked at over 5,000 people and, and how often the water was being what they call turned over in their body, uh, meaning they, they tracked the water from the time you, you drank it and from the time it left your body in, in urine. And, you know, what they found is there's really no magic number here. The, the key is to listen to your body. You know, if you're thirsty, have a drink, but don't go running for the water, you know, just because you think you need it. That said, it's good to be drinking water, right? Like that's a, ben that's a net positive drink if you're going to drink something. I thought it was interesting that one of the factors mentioned here was climate. It is obvious that we need more water when it's hot out, but talk, talk through more of how climate is a factor here. Yeah, and so that's that's really it. You know what you what you just said is is as it gets warmer outside, it, you you oh, okay. do tend to exert more activity. So it's the and obvious you, then, basically. Well, it if is, you're but, sweaty in Scottsdale, you're going to need more water <laughs> than if you're shivering in New Hampshire. Ex exactly, but I should add, you know, the authors on the climate note point out that the one thing they're really watching for is as temperatures start to rise, those who don't have access to water, you know, the two billion two billion people around the globe who are you know have trouble with water security, how are they going to handle yeah. this intake need? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.